Alright guys, it is Wells Dragon DSG and welcome back to my Blackman Rovers career mode on the next gen console. No, I'm known as Dan, I'm known as DSG, I'm known as Welsh Dragon DSG, or wherever you want to know me as. Anyway, welcome back. Make sure you drop the video a like. Let's get to 100 likes or something. That'd be pretty cool. So everyone, right now, drop the video a like. How has your weekend been? Mine's been pretty good. It hasn't been that bad, I'm not going to lie. So guys, let me know in the comments or something like that. But I got a comment question of the day while you're down there liking my video. I got a comment question today, and my comment question today is, it's kind of going to be uh, a, a bit of a player thing. Who is your favourite striker in FIFA? Tell me your favourite striker in FIFA. Mine is so different at the moment, I generally can't give you a good answer. I generally don't have a clue. I'm so on and off with strikers, I'm just looking for the perfect one. And I got a good question for the next one, it's going to be a pretty good one next one. But anyway, so guys, let me know in the comments below uh, your best favourite striker in FIFA. Your uh, FIFA 14s. And anyway, we put across the ball into Roas. Gets on the other king. There's a great save from uh, Federici, I think it is, from the Reading goalkeeper. And we do keep it at nil nil. So our form's been pretty good recently. We've been getting for uh, picking up form. We've been getting points and stuff. So it's actually good improvement, but we're not winning games like this. Good. But the thing is, we're picking up points against big teams. It isn't exactly we are playing. I don't know, we're playing like Reading right now and we're dropping points to Reading. We're dropping points like Man United, Liverpool, uh, oh shit, we'll we do Arsenal. We played Arsenal. And we get a chance here, Raw Arsenal with the Ronaldo chop and it's cleared by the defender. And we get another chance here, Bayram on the ball. Actually, one of the star players recently, one of the best right backs I've had. I want to give a shout to Fluda for actually uh, suggesting him. Because he, I, on Twitter, guys, follow me on Twitter. My link is in the description below. Is it well, Strand DSG? Um, I do talk on Twitter about Cremo say, guys, what player should I buy? Especially with stuff like this, and when I did this career mode live, um, I also had a few people in there, and Fluda was in this and gave this guy. And we, oh my god! Oh my god! I've been, I've been watching, I've been watching live at Apollo, and this American guy was on this. So sorry if I do have this American accent coming along. Uh, yeah. So we freaking bombard Redding with chances, and then we push through now in the 90th minute. But unfortunately, the whistle does blow. And the game does end up drawing nil nil. What a slap in the face after playing so well that game. It's just not looking good at all for us. I wasn't at all. And uh, it was kind of a must-win game because we wanted to try and push forward. And just look at those chances. Six shots, four on target. I do apologize for a little bit of a list. I think I, I bit my tongue last night. I'm a bit swollen. I just realized that. As I'm talking, I'm like... I just and my tongue's like too big for my mouth. Uh, maybe it's different reasons. Anyway, look at that. We're in 19th place with 11 points. Reading only on 3 points. West Brom on 13. 14 points and above and then 16 and then 17. So we're not too far behind. If we do end up winning, we kind of back in the mixer straight away. So if we can kind of draw for these next two games, which is against Liverpool and Manchester United, we can like kind of close down the gaps and then maybe we come up against a bit lower teams again. Reading was a must-win game because we were at, we're flying away from Reading now, Reading only on three points and stuff, so we are pushing forward quite a bit um, from them, so we're not going to be dropping down to the bottom part of the table, so we are pushing forward, it's good to see improvement, um, still questioning whether I'll be sacked or not in the morning, I'm not too sure, um, so yeah, we'll be interested to see how that actually finds out, so we got a game against Liverpool, Danny Day is sitting on the bench from Zenit St. Petersburg, uh, he's not my player, of course. Uh, we got Douglas and Royas playing up front. Royas has currently gone into form a little bit. And what I mean by his form is that he isn't, like... Honestly, you guys only see the highlights. You only see the chances he gets or the goals he gets. Like, I see, I see him when he's not off or when he's off the ball or when he's getting assists and stuff. He is very, very good in that department at the moment. And he is deserving of his starting 11 position. And we're 15 minutes in and the Liverpool do end getting a chance. But we got Gardner on the ball. Probably one of my favourite midfielders ever. Probably most all-round ever. Douglas now, he's going to... I don't know what he's going to do with it. He's going to whip it in by the loss of things on the head of Gardner. But it punched out, floppy punched by... Reina, ball comes out, and the game does still stay nil-nil, and it does look like it's going to be nil-nil going to half-time. Coutinho does end up tapping it wide of the post, and Forza picks it up for a goal kick, and the whistle does end up blowing for half-time. And we're 55 minutes in now, ball goes out for a throw, and Roas tried to get the ball in, but it just wasn't doing its thing. 54, crosses it in, drops to Nathaniel, and it's over the bar. What a disappointing chance, and then Ro in through ball to Rhodes, Rhodes now, he's uh, got a hat-trick uh, yesterday as well with uh, against uh, his whole club Huddersfield, so kind of glad Blackburn are back on winning form, 
we went we went five games I think no it was eight games unbeaten then we lost and we went five games unbeaten uh, I think we drew a freaking lot of them and then we freaking lost three goal three on the bounce and now we're back to winning ways winning four two I'm thinking of winning ways we are one nil out with Jordan Rhodes what a goal it was the ball drops to him a great original touch just look at that and the ball just bounces right perfect timing by the goalkeeper to make it 1-0, the ball stops dead still, it's a, it looks a Rhodes-esque goal, if you see Rhodes take a shot, he does it like that, obviously he is right footed of course, but it's a quality shot, it's a quality goal, and we're 1-0 up, ladies and gentlemen, against the mighty Liverpool, maybe not so mighty now, but I could eat my own words, we cross the ball out, good, good defending here, we block it, we clear it, and here, I don't know what happens now, uh, Nathaniel making the mistake, passing the ball back to Sturridge. He should have just turned and cleared it, but he doesn't, and it's 1-1, 82 minutes in. Unfortunately, we don't keep our lead, and we do end up drawing that game 1-1. It's a massive, massive result, a 1-1 draw against Liverpool, because they're so far at the table. If we can pay our points against big teams... We're going to do pretty well, but we need to also beat teams like Reading. If we don't beat teams like Reading, we're not going to do so well. Anyway, now we got 12 points, 16 points. Fulham getting a win now. West Brom also getting a win, but Hull and West Ham not getting a win. We just need to pick up some points. So we sort out some contracts. we got Taylor Kill, Gallon, and Robinson looking to get ourselves a new contract. Their contracts do run out at the end of the season. Uh, we do have to give him for a new year, and we do uh, give him the six grand and stuff that he actually wants. Kill Gallon, which was not sure whether to renew his contract, not to sure. Poor Robson just wanted an extra year on his contract, so I'm not too bothered. So I decided not to sign on Kill Gallon. The reason for that is because I don't think he's a part of our certain eleven team, and I don't think he is a part of the future. So um, I think we'll end up selling him or something, maybe, or we'll just let him go. It's kind of a lot of money off our books, a total of six grand. We can bring in anyone we want. There's a guy I'm looking at there, Polio, I think it is, a centre-back from uh, Real Madrid's uh, B team, basically. I can't remember the official name for it. It's in Liga Adelante. I can't remember the name for it. I think they call they basically called RM something, and I can't remember what it is. But basically, it's Real Madrid's B team. Uh, anyway, Jordan Rolls on the ball now to Roas. Roas pips the ball over to Douglas. Douglas with the chance. It's saved by the here. Nathaniel with the shot is blocked, and a good tackle has blocked the end of Nathaniel. And for somehow, it doesn't go in. And when we play teams like Manchester United, we need to be banging in goals like that. And the ball drops to Cargo, and Nathaniel again makes a dodgy tackle. And it's a red card. And I couldn't believe it. It was it was a clear chance tackle and we should have got it. But unfortunately, we didn't get it. It was just one of those and it was like, no. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It was harsh. It wasn't harsh. It was a good freaking good call. But you know what I mean. It's like, oh, great. Then we have to make some changes. Douglas got to come on now. And bring Machina on. Because uh, the only midfielder we actually had on in the bench, so we took him in the, in the CDM role. Actually, a pretty decent CDM. 37 minutes in, Manchester United with a chance, and it just goes wide of the post. And we, Dan, playing very well. Actually, Dan clears that, but at the end of the day. And uh, Manchester United now on a ball again to Fabio. Fabio is going to give the ball to Rain Rooney, and it's straight into Forster's hands. I have to say, Forster's a quality, quality player. So half time, we go in at nil nil. Another decent half from us. We are defending quite a bit, in all fairness. And then we got King on the ball. What's he going to do with it? He's going to cut on inside. It's a lovely tap, but the ball drops over Sheen, and it's off the post. Couldn't believe it didn't go in. And we're still nil nil. 57 minutes in. Who's going to break the deadlock? Valencia now trips the ball of the Rooney. Oh, shite. And it's an easy goal. It's a tap in at the end of the day. It was lofted right over the top. Defender should have got to that. And we could do go one nil down. 58 minutes in. But we still got some time to try and get back into the game. we got King on the ball now. King trying to get past Vidic. What's he going to do with it? He's going to whip the ball into Rhodes. Drops out to Garner. Cleared by the defence. Even Garner with the shot. Great save on De Gea. We've seen those go in the last few episodes with Garner. The Manchester United on the attack. It's a good yeah, What a save from Forster. And then Kagawa makes an absolute howler to keep it at 1-0. Could have put the game dead and buried there. 
69 minutes in. Ha ha, dirty, dirty. Hee <laughs> uh, And then we put the ball over to Marshall. Marshall drops again. It's going to be some of the win. Rooney, but it's just blocked again by Evans. Absolute quality defender and thinking about buying him next year, but he's, he costs too much on wages. Now it is the end of this episode, guys. I want to say thank you very much for joining me to check out tomorrow's video. It's going to be, guess what? My San Diego Munez career. So I'm looking to leave him in San Diego's Munez career, but let's be, sit back to this. We are still 19th with a point drop, five points from safety. I want to say thank you very much for joining me. So make sure you drop the video a like and make sure you answer my question, which is which is your favorite striker in FIFA 14? Guys, I'll see you next time. Adiós.